Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at factorization of exponents, exponentials actually I might say. So what we would like to do is look at two of these examples. Now a big part of mathematics is trying to make sure that it looks like something we've done before. And if it looks like something we've done before, then it's going to be easier for us. Now, we're going to be using an idea today called u-substitution. And when we do u-substitution, it's going to allow us to simplify things a little bit until we're able to work the problem, shall I say. So let's go ahead and start with what we have. Let's start with this first question, 4 to the x minus 2 to the x minus 20. Now, I can see this is factorization, and I see three different terms. And so with those three different terms, it appears to me almost as if this is like a trinomial, a, a, a quadratic trinomial, but I don't have a squared term. So what I want to do is I'm going to rewrite this first term, if I can, to be a squared term. And so I'm going to take 4 to the x, and I'm going to rewrite it as 2 squared to the x. Now, we learned many, many moons ago, back in Algebra 1, that if I have a number like this, a to the b to the c, that that is the same thing as a b c, because we multiply the exponents if it's the power of a power. Now, because of that, we are going to take this 2 to the 2x, and we're going to rewrite it again as 2 to the x squared, and then minus 2 to the x, and then minus 20. And I know you're going to say, but Mr. the one and the 2 is by the 2, and the x is on the other place. But please remember that the bc could just as easily be written a to the cb, because multiplication is, uh, how shall I say, uh, it is commutative. Okay, so now I have this. What I'm going to do now, now that I see that this is a quadratic, is I'm going to rewrite it such that 2 to the x is some other letter, something that's going to simplify this problem for me. Now, I'm going to use u, because when we do calculus, we're going to use a special thing called u substitution. So it may as well be that you learn to use a u now, okay? Besides, you are special, you are nice, I like you very much, and so use the letter U. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go U, and then squared, minus, and then I'm going to put U in for that to, to the X as well. And then I'm going to go minus 20. Okay, now this can just be factored, right? We're going to go like this. Very easy now. We're going to go with the U's at the front, and then I need a, a 5 and a 4, so I'm going to go plus 5, uh, so minus 5 and plus 4. And when I do that, I have negative 20, and when I add them together, because I do the inside and the outside, that gives me negative U. So there you go, and now I'm not done, because remember, I still have these green U's, and yes, you are special, but... I really don't care about you. I care about X. Not that I don't care about you. I do care about you, but I just don't care about this U. So we're going to go 2 to the X minus 5. And then we're going to go 2 to the X plus 4. And so then we have it factored. And this is the factorization of what you have up there. You would find that if you decided to do this, and you foiled this out, you would end up with what you started with. So there we go. There is our answer. It cannot be simplified any further. Okay, let's look at the second one. This one's going to be a little bit different. and But it's still the same. It's the same, you know, the same, same, but different. Yeah, well, okay, it's the same. So let's go ahead and do it. 49 is 7 squared, and so I hope that you're okay with me rewriting it in this format, 7x squared, just like we did over here, it'd be 7 to the 2x, and then we're going to take the 2 and put it outside. Now, we'll rewrite it as is, but there's something different here. Yes, it does look very much like what we've done before, but what we've done before is different because I got an x plus 1 here. What do I want this to look like? I want it to look like that. I want it to look the same. I want them to be friends. So if I can make them look the same, then I'm going to be happy. And so let's make them happy by making them look the same. So we go 7 to the x 
and I'm going to rewrite this. You did this. To, you did this tonight. You rewrote it like this. You said this was the same thing as 7 to the x times 7 to the 1. Now 7 to the 1 is 7. Now watch. We're going to do our magical u substitution again because I like you, remember? And so I'm going to change this to u squared. And then it's going to be minus. I'm going to put the u in there. So it'll be u times 7. I'm going to write that as 7u. And then plus 12. Oh my goodness, that looks easy. Now I can do this, Mr. Bywater. I can do this one. Let's do it. We factor. We say u minus 3 and u minus 4. And so then we just put the 7 to the x back in. Ta-da! Hopefully that's good.